Hello, welcome back to Amiga Pistons. Today we're going to show you from where we were last time, which was the bare forged 73.5 mini piston, and we're going to do a bit of CNC machining this time, so some of the more intricate jobs that make it look closer to a finished piston, just like that. Okay then, so on your right here, we've got the 73.5 forged Amiga, which would be for a 1380 or 1460 a series engine. On the left we've got the basic forging which you saw Jason doing last time. So this one's already been through what we call the roughing out process so it's machined roughly to size. So here we go then and it's in the lathe. So first off machine down the outer diameter and then we're going to look at the tops. So the tops are then roughly again taken down to the size. So open the door on the lathe then spun over and the bottom of the skirt, the lower edge of the piston, is now turned down as well. Every step along the way they're checked, measured and deburred. And then next up, what we call panels, where the gudgeon pin holes go. So over now to Craig in the CNC room and he's going to go into a bit more detail. Hi, I'm Craig. I've worked here since 1997. I'm a CNC programmer and operator. I'm going to show you how you get from this to this. I'm just uh, checking the whole light now on the measuring gauge. So I zero it out there. Touch it on the bottom of the hole and on the top. That gives me the whole light of 21.015, which is 15 microns above. The main thing is, is that it's level. So we zero that and see if it's level. That's within one micron. Put some oil in the holes. Nip it up and bore through. It's an 18 mil hole, so with two tenths under the finished size, so it can be owned out later on in the process. We check the hole size. 18mm ring gauge, set that to zero, and we'll check the hole with the clock gauge, I'm doing one tenth under so the rest can be owned out. So the old board to size now, all lights already been checked on the CMM. On the first jobs that Craig sets up now is the drilling for the oil control rings which obviously for lubrication so the drill holes go in first before you put the grooves in for the rings. There's all sorts you can do on here you can even engrave your name into it if you want to. You can put valve pockets, dishes but there's a second stage and we're we'll going to that now. Okay, this is the final process on the piston when I'm machining it. This is a Hitachi lathe. It has 10 tools each do their own different thing. I write the programs again myself. Write new ones, probably once a week. We're always learning, changing things, doing things different to improve the piston, to make things better. And I've probably written about a thousand in the 15 years I've been on this section. Okay, here we go. Let me press start and the program runs all the way through.
Okay, I've just showed you how to machine the piston on the lathe with the rough top, leaving half a mil on the top. Then I'm going to make it look like that with the offset 7cc dish. These 73.5 mini pistons have an offset dish, so we can't use a conventional pad to put them on. We have to use an offset pad. The three rings in this piston, oil ring, top and second. We have go and no goes. So that should go in, which it does all the way around, nice and smooth. No go shouldn't go in, there you go, it doesn't go in at all. Same with the top two, nice and smooth. A no go, doesn't go in. These are specific sizes. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. It's a 102 slip gauge. And there's a 104. That shouldn't go in. Okay, so that's the piston 90% complete now from the billet of aluminium to the final stage just here. Come on in, you'll see the slight differences visually between this one that's just been machined and the completed piston there. Obviously there's a difference, this one's a short height, compression height, um, and this one's a standard compression height, but the machining itself is the same. It will need to be deburred, there's a few sharp edges. It will get deburred between most stages. And so then the next process will be the gudgeon pin bore will be finally machined. There's a groove in there for the circlip, the retaining circlip, and also some extraction holes. Uh, after that then it will have engraving on the top so you've got a part number and also a batch number and little F there for the front of the engine. Then if you turn around to the side you'll see there's actually a, a small unmachined lip just there. Now that's for the guys in the machine shop so they know that this one's not completely finished yet. These pistons aren't round, they're oval. So that will be the next process, turning this from a near round shape to an oval shape and that's where it gets really accurate with the machining. So we'll come back to that next time.